Mississippi baby is being treated for HIV AIDS months after doctors believed she had been cured of the disease. Dr. Hannah Gay was the first to treat the baby with antiretroviral medication. She is joining us via Skype from the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi. Dr. Gay, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I know you had been out of the country when this uh, initially happened and we were not able to talk, but I appreciate you making time to talk with us today. Um, I know you're heartbroken. I know I'm heartbroken. I know <laughs> we're all heartbroken. Doctor, we thought we were on the road to uh, uh, some sort of good news in the HIV AIDS uh, department uh, with this baby and, and it unfortunately didn't turn out the way we wanted it to. That's certainly true and we are sad that this particular baby had to go back on therapy, but the overall case is, is still a very positive thing. Um, we, we feel like we can learn a lot from the case and perhaps um, achieve the same outcome in, in other children and in the future, perhaps prolong their period of remission. And that even for this particular child, she had a bit over two years off therapy with no HIV and no HIV medicine to have to deal with. And that was a good two years for uh, growth and development of her immune system and her brain and her liver and her kidneys. So she's better off as well. Because I know you gave her very powerful drugs uh, 30 hours after she was born, very powerful. Um, the strength of the drugs that you gave the, the, the newborn, um, is it the same strength that you would give an adult? Well, I was using actually newborn doses, and um, a lot of the press has gotten the idea that it was super normal doses. It was actually standard doses I for see. treatment mm -hmm. of an HIV infected child. The, the difference was that I was using the drugs initially not as treatment because I didn't know that she was infected, but I was using them as what we call post-exposure prophylaxis to try to prevent the virus from setting up shop, if you will, and prevent her from being infected. Dr. Gay, can you explain to us uh, how this all happened? Can you just tell us about this baby? Certainly. So the baby was born to a mom who had not had prenatal care and did not know that she was HIV infected. Now, fortunately, in the United States and the rest of the West, we are able to prevent almost every case of mother-to-child transmission of HIV by, by treating mothers during the pregnancy. But this was a case where we were not able to treat the mom because she didn't have any prenatal care and didn't know that she was infected. That meant that the baby was at higher than normal risk of being infected, probably somewhere in the range of 25 to 30% risk that the baby would be infected. So when the baby was born, rather than starting one drug as post-exposure prophylaxis, as I would have done in a very low risk case, I started three drugs as post-exposure prophylaxis, and uh, we we drew blood from the baby just before we started those drugs, and those test results came back several days later showing us that the baby had already been infected before, probably just before the, the delivery. So knowing that we had an infected baby, we continued her on the medicine and uh, thought that she would stay on them for a lifetime. Um, fortunately, our medicines are good now at keeping people healthy mm -hmm. for a long life, but it requires compliance with the medicine. Doctor, would you say that so, the key is to definitely getting uh, started on a drug regimen as early as possible? Because I know that there was another baby who got started on it even before 30 hours. That's correct. We've 
we've known for a number of years that starting uh, therapy early is better than starting therapy late. Um, this was starting therapy, what we're now calling very early. So it was uh, kind of the earliest case that we have documented. Um, and there, there have been some changes in uh, many people in their clinical practice so that now we're trying to start very early therapy so that um, perhaps we can replicate this outcome in other children. Doctor, what is next on the horizon with respect to trying to find uh, a cure for HIV AIDS? Well, there is pure research going um, all around the world and coming at it from several different um, angles. Of course, the very early therapy that we can accomplish with newborns who are exposed to her is, is probably not going to be very applicable to adults mm -hmm. who normally don't know when they're exposed and so they don't find their infection until months or years later. Um, so the, the same hack that you take for one group of people may not work well for others. Right. There is that research going on and um, now that we know that very early therapy may not totally eliminate mm -hmm. the um, reservoir, as we had hoped had happened, um, we're thinking that very early therapy, perhaps combined with um, some immunogenic therapy later on, may help us to prolong this. Doc, Dr. Hannah Gay from the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi, where I got my start in television news. Thank you so much, and we wish you the very best. Keep on doing what you're doing. We're going to come up with a cure if it's the last thing we do. Thank you, Dr. Gay.